Hey everybody, this is Eric from Valve, and I'm here with a new video in a new location here at the Valve office, and I've got something else new with me. This is the Steam Deck, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's get right into it. All right, we're really excited to finally get a chance to talk about Steam Deck, and in this video, I'll quickly get you up to speed on what you, as a developer, should know right now about Steam Deck. And this is Steam Deck. It's a handheld, high-powered gaming device that lets you take your Steam library with you wherever you are. It's got a beautiful 7-inch display, ergonomic controls that are really built for long play sessions, and a new look for Steam designed for Steam Deck. You can think about Steam Deck like a portable gaming PC with built-in controllers. With Steam Deck, you can take your Steam library with you, and your games are already on deck. And you could start playing on one device, like a home gaming PC, and then pick up the Steam Deck and resume where you left off, or back the other direction. This is enhancing the value of your game in a user's library, and it's expanding your audience. Steam Deck represents a new way for Steam users to play your games and explore your worlds. And Steam Deck is not a walled garden. You can install whatever you want on it, including other apps and OSs. It's also really just a PC. You can use USB and Bluetooth peripherals or dock it to a monitor and connect a keyboard and mouse and use it just like a regular PC. Ultimately, it's an evolution of years of hardware and software design work. We've taken everything we've learned from developing the Steam Controller, Steam Machine, Steam Link, and Valve Index, along with the Steam Client, and applied all of that collective experience in designing Steam Deck. Steam Deck runs games using Proton, and if you aren't familiar with Proton, it was originally released back in 2018, and it's a compatibility layer that allows Windows games to run on Linux. The team has been working on and improving Proton for a while now. Most APIs are already supported by Proton, and most games already just work. And the team is building support for more APIs and enabling more games by default. Our goal is for every game to work by the time we ship Steam Deck. We are constantly building on Proton, and there's a lot of work that has been done that doesn't yet affect the public version of Proton, including testing of thousands of games, engaging with third parties like anti-cheat providers, work targeting game compatibility, and more. We've also created a new Steam experience just for Steam Deck. For input output, Steam Deck has a 7-inch 1280x800 touchscreen, has Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth peripheral ready, and it's dockable for use with an external display and USB peripherals. Here's a quick glance at what's inside a Steam Deck. It is a custom AMD APU, along with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and while there are three SKUs representing three levels of storage for the system, as a developer, there's really just one SKU to target. It is 16 gigabytes of RAM across the board, and it uses the same processor. And of course, Steam Deck includes all of the common gamepad controls that you'd expect, but along with that are trackpads and a touchscreen, and all of that works together to enable you to play a wide variety of Steam games. And as I mentioned, we've designed this device for very long play sessions. Everything about it is designed for comfort and familiarity. Of course, it has the standard A, B, X, Y buttons, the D-pad, dual analog thumbsticks, as well as those dual trackpads and gyro controls. And on the back side of the deck, you can see a USB-C charging port, an audio jack, as well as an L1, L2, and R1, R2 buttons, and two auxiliary buttons on each side on the back of the device. All right, jumping into a few frequently asked questions about Steam Deck. First one up is, what OS is Steam Deck running? Well, it's running SteamOS 3.0, which is a new version of SteamOS based on Arch Linux. Another question you may have is, well, my game doesn't have a Linux version, so do I need to port my game to Linux to have it work on Steam Deck? And the answer is no, it's, you actually don't need to do that. Your Windows build will likely work right out of the box, and that's all thanks to Proton. Next is, are there any tips for making sure my game will be a great experience on Steam Deck? And a quick test to see how your game might work on Steam Deck is to plug in a controller and play your game from startup paying attention to any launchers or interfaces where you might need to reach for your mouse or keyboard. We also recommend that you look into supporting Steam Input, especially if you have a mouse and keyboard-centric game. Steam Input not only allows for additional customization, but can also make your mouse and keyboard-centric game a better experience for deck players, even without refactoring the whole game around controller input. Here's a link to more information about Steam Input. 
You could try installing Linux and Steam on a machine to create a Linux testing environment so that you can test how your game runs on Proton. And you can find a link to how to do that here. Finally, support Steam Cloud. This is the feature that will allow your players to start a game on PC and then seamlessly continue that session on Steam Deck. Here's a link to more information about Steam Cloud. All right, I mentioned this a little bit before, but you might be wondering a little bit more about docking your Steam Deck. The answer, of course, is yes, you can dock your Steam Deck using the USB-C port, and you can expand that with a hub or a dock into HDMI and USB, while still retaining that power charging pass-through, which enables you to be able to charge your deck. Another question you may have is, well, my game uses anti-cheat, which I know doesn't work with Proton, so how am I gonna get around this for Steam Deck? The answer is we are actively working with BattleEye and Easy Anti-Cheat to get support for Proton ahead of launch. Are people gonna be able to install Windows on Steam Deck or other third-party content? And the answer to that is a big yes. It is a PC, you can install whatever you want on it. Okay, at this point, you're probably wondering, how am I gonna get a hold of a dev kit? And the answer is we're currently building dev kits and have earmarked some of those units for partners like you to test your games. And these dev kits will be identical to the same Steam Decks that we'll be shipping off to customers that they'll be playing later this year, except for a few small cosmetic differences. And supplies are really limited. And so we're going to have a program where you're going to be able to request a dev kit soon. And we'll be sure to keep you posted and let you know the moment you can submit a request. All right, that's just the top line information that you need to know as a developer coming out of this announcement of Steam Deck. And of course, you'll be hearing so much more from us in the coming months as we approach launch. And we'll make sure to keep you up to date on all the information you need to prepare. If you still have questions, here is a link to our documentation on Steam Deck, and you can reach our team directly using the link below. Hey, thank you so much for watching today, and we'll keep you posted on all the details. See you in the next video.